Hi everyone, I found this cute little art activity online that we can all do together to get ready for Mother's Day and you only need a few simple things. So you're going to need a blank piece of paper, um, some markers, a pencil, a pencil crayons, highlighters, crayons, anything to draw and color with would be great. Alright, for this next part you're going to take your piece of paper, you're going to fold it top down in half. I like to go corner to corner. Okay, nice and flat. Alright, so this next part is a little tricky. So you're going to take the bottom two corners and you're going to fold those up to, I guess, the top two corners that are there now. Here it is one more time. You're taking the bottom two corners and you're folding it back up to the top. And feel free to pause at any time and give us a try at home. Okay, so now that our paper is folded, we got a top section and a bottom section right here. So I'm going to refer to the top and bottom as different sections now. So on the top section, you're going to be making a kind of rectangle, long skinny rectangle only on the top section. It's okay if you get on the bottom, but it's really important to get on the top. Next, you're going to make another line, kind of like a little bump, followed by a bunny ear and a bunny ear. Uh, they're not really bunny ears, they're little loops for ribbons. And then you're going to make another loop inside and then another loop inside. All right, now on the bottom section, you're going to be making a box. So you a nice little square. Okay, try to make it in line with your top part. And then you're going to be making a line going down, and another line going down, and another line going down, and another line going down. This is just little decorations. So now you just made a gift box. So your next step is you're going to carefully open up your box and then you're just going to finish the bottom section there. Just make a line going across just to make it a little bit more complete. Alright, so this is my favorite part. You can open it up. Now you're going to make some things uh, inside. So I'm going to make little imaginary lines here going around the outside there and the long line outside there. I'm going to be making hearts and things on the inside. Try to not go outside your imaginary bubble that you just made. I'm going to color in my hearts here. You don't have to color in your hearts now. I'm just going to do it just for fun. And try to spread your hearts out all over. But make sure you stay inside your imaginary bubble. Try not to go too wide. I got some big hearts over here. I got maybe a little baby heart. Practice your heart beforehand. It's really important. And now when you're doing this, just remember to spread your hearts out. You don't want them too, too close together, but you also don't want them too, too far apart. Um, so this takes a little bit of planning ahead of time. And if you did a really good job, you should have so far a gift box that opens up that has a bunch of hearts everywhere. Oh, look at that. All right, so your next thing you're going to do is to grab a different colored marker or you can use your pencil. Now you're going to be writing words and phrases and sentences that would describe your mom, why you like your mom, why you love your mom, um, what makes her the best. And you're going to write these words in between the hearts, which is why it's really important to have your heart spread out. Wherever you can find space, you can. I'm just using some of the words that the students came up with. And we're going to come up to my first pro tip here for you all is you should probably write the word gorgeous or pretty or beautiful if you really, really want to make your moms uh, really happy on Mother's Day. Alright, so now I'm just going to go back and color in my hearts that I didn't color in before. Um, this is a good time. If you want to make more hearts, different sizes, you can. If you think you might want to add a few more words, you can. Um, 
I added how many? Two, four, five. You could add maybe six, maybe eight. Don't do two too many. Six, eight would be a good number. And right now, I feel like I'm gonna add something else. Fun, because my mom is fun. And I'm gonna add kind, because my mom is also very kind. All right, here's the best part. You're gonna close your box up now, back to where it was before. And we didn't get a chance to decorate it, so you can decorate the ribbons. I'm just gonna use red, because this red marker uh, works really, really well. You can use any colors you want. Maybe think about a color that your mom really, really likes. You can decorate lines going down. If you want to add different decorations on your gift box, go ahead, you can do that. So this activity is a gift slash card, put it into one. Um, so if we're making a card, we gotta make sure we write who the card is to. And obviously it's to our moms. I'm using a different fun marker. And we gotta write from or love the person who made it, which is you. And I'm Mr. Fan. So to mom, love Mr. Fan. I'm gonna add a little nice little heart decoration. And here is your Mother's Day gift slash card. Opens up and surprise, look at all those nice things. All right, boys and girls, good luck and have fun making your Mother's Day gift slash card.